Weird things have happened to me when uh, mm. I was living at home and uh, I was in bed one Where'd night. Where do you live now? No, but I was at my first home. Your yeah. parents? Yeah, my mum and dad's. Yeah. So I'm in bed and uh, I'm lying there and you know you get that sense of like, uh, oh there's something going on. Right. And uh, I sort of look over my quilt and there's nothing there, thinking it's weird that. So uh, turn me back on it. I'm thinking, I don't want to know. If there is something there, I don't want to know, right? <laughs> so I'm turning me back on it, but then there's like a really high-pitched noise, right? Sort of the hairs on my back are like going up a bit. I'm like, oh, I don't like this. And it's the, the high-pitched noise. You had a hairy back even as a kid? No, but you know, Not everyone's there, got no. little hairs on them, aren't they? Everyone's got little tiny hairs on them and mm. stuff. And uh, and I thought, oh, I can't stand this. And, and I turned around, put the light on, legged it downstairs, mm. right? And my mum's saying, what are you doing? I'm going, oh, I don't know, there's something up there. So she said, all right, then watch the telly. So I stayed up for a bit, mm. uh, watching the telly, went back to bed, the high-pitched noise had gone, went to sleep, get up the next day, Charlie from next door comes round, he goes, Hilda's dead, mm. right? And uh, my dad said, oh, when did that happen? He said, last night at quarter to eleven. Right. That's, that's when I was in bed. So, what, what are you telling me for? Because it's weird, isn't it? It's that thing of, uh, would, would, would you think it'd be weirder that, uh, no one ever died at quarter to eleven when you were in bed? No, but that's when all the weirdness was going on. That's when the tone was happening, my back was getting itchy and stuff. And- Coincidence. And I went down and watched telly, went back up, it's gone and that, but that's when her spirit had sort of- No. Ah, okay, right, interesting. No, this is, this is where we get into the facts. So Hilda's spirit- and left was whizzing round, whizzing round my yeah. bedroom, because my bedroom was right next door to theirs. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, I'm just saying, that's, that's one. Why that's did they, why do they whiz round what? when they, when they die? Why do spirits whiz round when they die? Because they're going, where am I going? Are they? And they're whizzing round, aren't they? Am I going down? Am I going up? No, no, it's right. calm. Oh, no, no but, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, but it's, n it's not going to be easy, is it? How do you think it works? It doesn't work. But once again, it's not proof of anything, Carl. Mm. Beyond the fact that you were a child in bed, why did your dad ask what time she died? No, he, he just sort of, you know, what do you say to someone when it's it's awkward, isn't it? When someone gives you bad news, so you just think, well, what can I ask? Oh, what time does that happen? Sorry, yeah. no, my, just, my, you just go my, oh, exactly. What time did she die? Uh, my no, wife, my wife passed away. Yeah, what, what time is that? Exactly? <laughs> <laughs> no, not exactly. He just said, oh, oh, that's bad. When did that happen? Right. What time? Right. And he said, well. Thanks for asking. Quarter to eleven. Quarter to eleven. Quarter to eleven. Quarter to eleven. I remember. What did he say? What did he say last night? Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Convenient, aren't they? All these it stories. Is, or is it? Or, yeah, I mean, it's either that's exactly what happened, Rick, or he's he's misremembering the. Yeah. The actual I don't. I don't. I don't know which one <laughs> to plump for. But I tell you this though. Go on. You know, if we're talking about ghosts and that. Yeah. Mm. Now, Ilda. Yeah. Uh, choose your bog standard old woman. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I think that's on the gravestone. I know, yeah. No, did you, just, did you do the eulogy? No, you know. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> you, you what can we what? say about Ilda? Bog standard old woman. Right, there's sandwiches at the bar. <laughs> that's the most insulting thing you can ever say. There was a just a bog standard. There's, there's nothing in no. <laughs> just think about Hilda that lived her life. Thank you for coming to celebrate the life of Hilda. Who died at quarter to eleven, specifically. And was a bog standard old woman. Are we burning or burying? But anyway, but she lived to be quite old. Mm. Which annoyed you. And, but yeah, no, in a bog standard way. But this is what I was saying about us all living too long and stuff. Mm. It just, it just makes it worse when it does come to us being a ghost. I don't know what you're talking don't about know, again. That sentence made no sense. Just, if you are going to be haunted, right, say, I know you're going to say, well, I don't believe in them, so I'm not worried, so don't be going on about it, mm -hmm. but say, like, you know, your new place that you've bought, you move in, and you go to bed, and there's something moving about the room. Mm -hmm. You see it, mm -hmm. it's a ghost. Oh, no. Okay, look, let, let's, for the sake More of argument- More likely, a Siamese cat called Ollie. No, because that's probably got its own room, on it? <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, would you prefer- to have an old person moving about looking at you, or just a young person. I'd prefer a youngish person who looks normal and he's sort of floating about and you go, all right. That, that looks normal, floating about. No, but, but an old woman would really scare me. 
and ghosts are always going to have a bad reputation because they look scary because they're old. So that's you talk absolute shit. That's all I'm saying. So w- Can we're you now believe going. We ever charged for this? No, but look, <laughs> if, if we are going into another life, right after this, which we're not, we be, move yeah. on to another life. Yeah, we're not going to move on. That land, say if it is like another world where we go and we plough fields and we grow crop it, crop. Croppage. We grow crop. Crops. Uh, crops, if you want. Yeah, um, well I would like to use the English language. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's too much fruit about, so just the crop. Just something we need too to get back. Too much fruit <laughs> He's got an answer for everything. That's so we I'm grow saying. some crop. Yeah. yeah. So you grow your crop and, uh, now if we're all going into that other land or world or universe, mm. old, who's gonna do the cropping? <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh you I, i've never heard so much crop in my life <laughs> it's a load of old crop would you say you've learned stuff from me in the past few weeks definitely That's definitely cool. definitely definitely yeah. rather like a scientist learns from a, like a injecting mice yeah no but i've learned from you about ants and stuff i, th- I think <laughs> every week as weeks go go on, I feel like we're learning from each other. I'm learning more now than I did when I was at school. And can I just clarify? Yeah, you you weren't raised as an experiment, and you've escaped from a laboratory. <laughs> you are you had regular upbringing in Manchester, and that. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't go to school much because me mum and dad had a caravan. <laughs> right. And <laughs> no need, is there? <laughs> no need when you've got that sort of fun at home. I yeah. used to just go away for weeks. Really? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, honestly. Where'd you used to go? Port Maddock. But <laughs> 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 and um, so you didn't go to school much. No, I, d- I did, but not as much as everyone else. No. How many holidays were your parents having? Oh, what, what, what was their income that they could? No, well, my dad used to work nights, and uh, he used to travel back because to Manchester from Wales, it wasn't that far. And Manchester he used to, do, to Wales. He used to do four on and four off. So <laughs> me and my mum were like loving it. But what, what's what, what, what Port Meredith? Port Maddock. Port Maddock. Just down the road from Port Merion. Where they filmed the prisoner, right? Oh, so, so that's that's cleared up for me. <laughs> yeah, location wise. So what did you do then? You you were in this little two berth caravan on the back of a, a Cortina estate, right? Well, what was it? It was a car. I want the. It, what was Granada, it? Ford Granada. Ford Granada. What are we talking? Nineteen eighty. Yeah, eighty two, eighty three, right? eighty four, eighty five. Okay. And you in you, in the car down there, da- down there, <laughs> park up. Yeah. What was it? What what was Port Meredith? Port Maddock. Port, Port Maddock. I remember Ruth. It's just, oh yeah. Uh, it's just a holiday camp. Yeah. And at an arcade and a beach. I was wor- I was loving it. Yeah. But, um, so so of the fifty two weeks of the year, let's assume I don't know how many weeks you take off normally for holidays anyway. Let's just say I don't know. You go to school forty five weeks of the year, maybe. Generally, most kids. No. Nah. Bit less. Bit less than that. Forty two. How many weeks would you say you actually spent in school? Well, how many weeks do you have off for summer? Well, we just, we'll work that out. That's what about we About six off for summer, about f- three for Easter, about three for Christmas. Put it this way, I'm surprised I'm not Welsh, to be honest. Right. Because <laughs> I was there more than I was in Manchester. Did they not, did the school authority not come and check you no, out? No, they didn't. Didn't get Manchester, I suppose they didn't care, did they? Not really. Yeah. They're lucky you turned up at all. Why did you just turn up for the last day when you could take in your best toy? <laughs> did you say that when you could take in any I game? Just play with everyone else's. Why, why, you know, I break my stuff. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, Ooh, a good well, this point. answers a lot. This does answer a lot. The fact that you spent most of your time on the beach as a kid. Uh, teachers were no good at my school. We were right. talking about it yesterday. About so you were teaching them a lesson by going <laughs> off in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. And uh, did you go to university? No. No, 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 no. Did you go to sixth form or college? No. When, when did you leave school? When I was about fifteen. Right. What? You just went on holiday and didn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a job early, didn't I? Cause I Where was it? Port Maddock. Getting there. No, I was a printer. BM print, print in Trafford Park. Well, that's great. That's a little interview yeah. there. So, would you like to start on your uh, to Steve? Because I've heard all these. Um, uh, well, we won't do them all. Well, um, we'll, we'll start off with the uh, the Mr. Freeze. Tell Steve the story of Mr. Freeze. This is the first time he nearly died. This this is the most serious of the lot, really. So, um, what it was? Do you know, like. Um, I don't know if your mum and dad did the same thing, but, like, they do the weekly shopping on, on like, a Friday. Yeah. So when when you got to Thursday, <coughs> there wouldn't be much stuff left in the cupboard. It'd just be, like, you know, your Jacob's crackers and stuff mm. like that. So when they'd, when they'd been to the supermarket and they came back, I was like, uh, you know, what's that saying? Like a pig in... You know, I, I loved it. It was like loads of food coming in, loads of biscuits. He loads nearly of said, what is that saying? He nearly said pig in shit. <laughs> right. Is that the same? <laughs> yeah. 
Right, so, um, so yeah, all this food comes in. Thank God like... he didn't. <laughs> 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 Otherwise he'd have been in trouble. That's true enough. Cause he's, he's culpable for our actions cause exactly. he's the producer. So technically, oh. that twat's in charge, go yep. on. Right, so anyway, so there's loads of food and I'm like, oh yeah, look at this, and chocolate biscuits and, uh, you know, penguins and stuff. Bacon. So, and bacon. <laughs> Just in case, you never know. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, my mum and dad's putting the food away. Me and our kid are like, he's already grabbed something, gone back upstairs. It's like feral children. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like a quest for fire. <laughs> <laughs> and then they run upstairs. <laughs> it was, it, what did you sit under the bed, gnawing at some sort of pig's trotter? <laughs> so, so I saw, um, do you remember Mr. Freeze Pops? I do, yeah. So, right. well, they're kind of like popsicles, icicles. Yeah, but really long, like yeah, a foot yeah, long, yeah. right? Yeah. So I thought, I'll have one of them, so I grabbed it. Went for the nutritious stuff first. Absolutely. And, uh, and like my mum and dad are putting this stuff away and what have you. And I, I rip it open and knock it back. Right, straight away, just right back like Swallow that. It, right down away, down yeah. it. But it, it went down the wrong way, right? What, so I was like, your shirt? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was like, oh god, I, I can't breathe. And my mum and dad didn't I didn't even know what I'd ate. Do you know what I mean? It went, it, I ate it so f f so quick. Yeah. And uh, I'm sort of tapping my mum on the back, going, uh, uh, she's going, oh god, you know, he's, he's choking again because I was always choking. <laughs> if it was one thing, I don't know if I got like a small throat. <laughs> but, but I mean, even Ricky knows I can't drink that much, can I? Yeah. Do you know, or I'm eat pebbles. A, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a, f a quick drink drinker. I'd always, um, I think I'm scared of like swallowing stuff. Yeah. And uh, it was like bottle tops and mint imperials and stuff. I was always, I was always choking on stuff. <laughs> oh, so, so anyway, she's going, oh god, what's he picks up on it now? <laughs> Drop it! Drop it! So, hit, his, hit his nose with a stick. So I was going, oh, I'm choking. At this point, my me, me dad had like, yeah, I think he'd put his his share away, you know, his food away, and he'd gone. His to, share, I yeah. love it. Yeah. He'd, he'd gone to watch like winner takes all or whatever <laughs> in a lounge. And I, I was in the kitchen, and I was starting to like just, I didn't care anymore. Do you know what I mean? I hadn't. I, I just got to that point where I wasn't struggling anymore. You just thought I'm done I just for. Just like falling to the ground. And my mum's going, you know, get in here, I think it's serious. And uh, my dad comes in and sort of starts shouting at me saying that's what you get for being greedy. <laughs> he didn't even know what I'd eaten. Well, it was it was the moment to teach you a lesson, certainly. So he's there like that and my mum's going, oh, look at him. And my lips were going purple and my eyes were rolling into the back of my head. You look like Marilyn Manson. And uh, so anyway, she grabbed me from behind and did that, that fireman thing. The Heimlich manoeuvre. Yeah. And, uh, you know, winded me. And it came up, and I was all right. What the whole right. popsicle came flying back out? I don't, I don't, I, you see, that's what I don't understand. Because there was no, nothing it, there. No, I mean, it's just a little bit. No, it swells up, doesn't it? Because it irritated it, so it went down your just sort of like your epiglottis. It went down the wrong way, like it went into your air canal instead so, of your throat, and it, it sort of it it sort of spasms, and that's the that's the fear. You just got to calm it down and relax. So that in time, I would have been all right. Yeah, anyway. you don't. Um, well, no, yeah. you might have. So that's so so so, so that's hang on. So, but, but, so no, no, no. But the weird thing is, like for like three days after that, I felt like a sort of a uh, special person. <laughs> I was I went to school. I'm I did, that, I'm saying nothing. I, I did full days. <laughs> <laughs> a special needs person. <laughs> Yeah. I went. I went to school the next three days after that. I didn't like wag it or anything. I did full days. I love that three days. Turn over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. After yeah. three days, you thought screw it. Yeah. Well, did a quick history yeah. exam. Yeah. Mm. Right. Next that one. That's popsicle. That's popsicle hell. We call that. Right. Next one. Uh, which one's the next one? Oh, what about your paper round? Right. The paper round one. Uh, paper round. I'd still say it's the best job I've ever had. <laughs> And he means it! No, I really oh. enjoyed it. It's like, you know, oh. you, you, <laughs> you don't have to work with anyone else, right? Oh. So you make your own rules. Just think of that. Um, yeah. you know, um, you sort of You're around. spreading information well, to yeah. people. Yeah, Vital information. you're giving a service yeah. and no one else is around, you know, you can just do what you want and think about stuff whilst you're cycling around on your bike. It's really good. Yeah. So, um. So anyway, imagine all... the stuff he's thinking about when he's driving around. <laughs> I know, I can't. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> getting in the head of a salamander. <laughs> so anyway, I, I loved it, and even though I only got like fifty p a day, right? No matter what the weather was like and stuff, I used to get up at half past four and uh, go and do the round. And um, why did you get up at half past four? Because I wanted to watch the Pink Panther at five thirty, so <laughs> I wanted to get me paper round done. I said, why didn't you watch Pink Panther? 
and then, and then he, went, he went, oh, I can't sit there thinking I've got my paper round to do. <laughs> He'll ruin it for him. Yeah. So is it a good job or not? Go so on. four 4.30 I was up, up and about, and this morning it was like winter, really bad winter, bad snow, you know, freezing cold, really windy and all that. And my mum said to me before I went to bed, she said, don't be getting up tomorrow, I'll give you the 50p. I said, it's not about the 50p. <laughs> so, you know, people want the papers and stuff. <laughs> so, um... Conscientious. <laughs> so anyway, I went to bed thinking, you know, that's it, I'm, I'm, I've told her I'm still going, so you know, whatever. Go to sleep, get up in the morning, and, uh, put all my kit on. And I, I used to have layers of clothing on, because it was really cold. They had, like, a big anorak on, with the fur on. I had, like, waterproof pants. And I got my paper round bag. And, uh, I went downstairs to get out, and tried to open the door, and it was locked. So, oh, God, I was, uh, uh, so she'd locked it so I couldn't go out. So I'm searching around the house looking for the keys. She must have hid them somewhere. I thought, oh, God, you know, I've, I've got the papers to do. So I thought, how can I get out? So I went upstairs, climbed out of the bathroom window. God. Right, and to try and jump out of the bed bathroom window onto the porch. But the problem was, I had so much gear on, I was like the Michelin man. <laughs> so I could hardly, I could hardly move as it is. Yeah. And I'm trying to get out the window, and I, I, I'm like, try to stretch down like that, get me foot on the, on the porch. And my bag got caught on like the hook of, do you know like how you have a hook so you can put the window open. Right, yeah, The yeah, little yeah, arm goes yeah. on. Your bag had got caught on that. I was holding onto the, like, the, the wall and my foot on the thing so I couldn't sort of pull it, pull it away in case I pulled it away and then fell on my head. Yeah. So I'm stuck there. Dangling. Dangling. My dad comes back from working nights. Yeah. He thinks I'm a burglar. <laughs> Gets out his gun. So, <laughs> so he's shouting and stuff, going mad and going, Dad, it's me. And he had to give us a hand using a- <laughs> He's heard that wily trick in Manchester before. <laughs> <laughs> he had to help me using a washing prop thing, a big stick. What did he do? Well, he said, just hold on for your dear life, and I I'll sort of push the paper bag off the hook. Why like didn't he go upstairs and sort it out? It was at that point where I was in the middle, there was nothing you could do, do you know what I mean? Mm, it's right. at that point where you've just got to make a decision. Yeah. And by the time he got upstairs, who knows what might have happened. Sure. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You've got to act there and then, don't listen <laughs> around. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so and you could hear downstairs, now here he is, the Pink Panther. <laughs> yeah. Dad! The Pink Panther. Hurry the up! Panther. Ever so pink. <laughs> oh. So that, that was close to death, because I must have been about 30 foot in the air. So, he, uh, uh, to cut a long story short, he gave me about four or five near death experiences, and he went, and the whole point of this, he went, so that's why I think I'm gonna die of something horrible, like cancer. And I went, why? He went, right, you ready for this? Yeah. He said, well I don't check my balls. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> he said, I don't like the feel. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, Carl, always check your balls. Do you I check don't yours? Like the feel. Why don't you like the feel of your own balls? They just, I mean, you know that I don't like bodies anyway. Right. Do you know what I mean? It worries me a bit that you've got all that going on in your body, right, and your skin's keeping it all in place. <laughs> right. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. We're going down a whole other avenue of discussion. Let's play a track, let's come back to it. We've had an email from Andrew Forrest, who has just simply entitled it, Carl Pillockton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carl Pillockton. What do you think of that? That's gotta be your new name from now on. Uh, I had a mate who, uh, who used to use it. What, he used, he used to, to call you that? Yeah. Was that your nickname at school, Pillockton? No, it's not my nickname. It is now. No, it's not. It is now. Pillockton. Pillockton. Oi, Pillockton. Oi, Pillockton. Pillockton, do Oi, my own work. Where actually. do you live? Where do you come from? Pillockton? No, there's this lad who, uh, called Mark, right, who he used to go to school with, who, uh, used to call me that. And, uh, his mum, right, was, like, obsessed with cleaning. And I was never allowed in their flat. <laughs> he makes the place look untidy. So she used to, I don't know if it was just me or, or all his mates, but I used to turn up and she goes, yeah, he is in, but you know what you've got to do? And he used to have to go round the side of his flat, and he had a computer, right, which he used to play, I, I didn't have one at that point, but he had one. And he used to have to go round the side of the flat and stand at his bedroom window with his window open and I'd be sort of leaning in playing the game. <laughs> you are joking. Not, his you had the weirdest stuff <laughs> I've ever heard. The, the things you were willing to do. <laughs> it's the strangest. What is this town like? No, stop going. Was, was there always the music? <laughs> There's the horse in the house there. Oh, look at these two kids with big heads and webbed feet. All right. All right, Ronnie. All right, Reggie. What? What was no, it, it was, like? She was, she was it upset. It is like you've grown up in a cartoon made for children. <laughs> yeah. No, his mum was really 
really, um, obsessed with cleaning. I, when, um... Can I play through his window? <laughs> I used to... Put Mrs. Ram's on. bottom. Can I play through Mark's window? Aye, right, you know what you have to do. She used to be up to that. Is that Pinnickton again? <laughs> <laughs> have you yeah. washed your hands? Well, up till three in the morning, washing. She used to be up doing the tiles in the kitchen. Washing until three in the morning? Until three in the morning. And for ages and ages, I, that's, that's saying that out on the tiles, I used to think that came from, like, his mum. Because she was out, like, cle cleaning them late. So, until I was about thirteen, I thought that saying, out late, on the tiles, Yeah. Was and now you're not confused by anything. Well, <laughs> there's no misunderstandings in your life now, is there? So what? Did, was he was allowed to walk in and out of the house? Was oh, he? He was all right, but and he used to come round to ours a lot. And Mum used to get these pies from Agenbacks, right? <laughs> so I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's at that bakery where they used to chuck the cakes out the back. Oh I'll yeah. tell you about. Yeah. Oh, and you ate six. You ate six. He loved it, but I could never go round to theirs. Or if I did, it was like, well, yeah, he is in, and I go all right, and then I'd, I'd walk round the side of the flat. <laughs> Stand outside. <laughs> Why did you ever knock at the door? Why don't you just go around and knock on the window? Just to check his in, because he wasn't always in his room. If you he say was it was in the lounge, a... he'd have to go to his bedroom and then- that's Just to meet check. you. I, this is the strangest- and you'd play a computer game through the window. You yeah. say it was a flat, it wasn't like a fifth story one and you had to get in one of those kind of cleaning contraptions <laughs> and like <laughs> winch your way up. On the, on I the love floor. the idea of that. So. Oh, Pillockton. <laughs> I, uh, at the quiz, also discovered, of course, and, um, I don't know, I'm just intrigued to know, Carl, I'm, I'm just intrigued to know, um, it was your girlfriend's birthday, wasn't it? Earlier in the week? Yeah, or last on, week? On Monday, yeah. And, um, I mean, obviously it was a triumph with the stuff you got her for Christmas. Um, the condoms. The box, the box of condoms. Box set, box set of condoms. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> not just, not just the singles, the whole, exactly. the whole set. Yeah, a complete collection. Brilliant. So what do you go for this time? What did you Yeah, but... No, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, but no, 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 yeah, but it's her birthday. How long have you been together? About uh, nine years. Okay, so, ooh, God, it must cost you so much. Well, no, but it starts getting tricky, doesn't it? Because I spoiled her a lot <laughs> in the first few years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then you Here's start... a packet of rubber bands, enjoy yeah. them. Oh. Well, she, it's what she wanted. Okay. I mean, you're making out as if- No, no, no everyone wants paper clips. <laughs> Come on, what did you get her? Got her a, a new pair of gloves. Right. All right, well. And? What, nice, nice leather ones from Selfridges or Howard's or something? Uh, they were good ones for the sort she likes, so. They weren't. Well, they, they, they weren't the little woollen ones that she had. Yeah. I thought that was a joke when she said he got me these, because I laughed. No, that's, but I know that's, the, the ones she did have, the. When they said it's his birthday, right, it was her birthday Monday, and me and Steve were ordered to get her, and she went, he got me these, because she had those little woollen gloves on, I laughed. Because I thought she was joking, Carl. <laughs> That's what she wanted. Right. I've told you before about buying presents. It's, it's Did those gloves have your name sewn in them? <laughs> <laughs> and a piece of string <laughs> that <laughs> ran over the back of your <laughs> duffel coat. You know, I've never been into getting presents and that. I had the problem at that Christmas one, that time with the Victoria Plum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we right. hate that. We'd we've, hate to bring that back. We've done that. Because <laughs> you talked about the book, because it's kind of to do with your dad, isn't it? He's he's a very bad gift buyer, was that the problem? Well, yeah, my dad's, I mean, my dad just wouldn't bother. It, it was my mum who sort of made an effort, and she sort of worked out half of what I wanted, then she left it to my dad to get it off someone, see if he could get one cheap or whatever. Uh, what? I, lo I love the fact that usually people talk about, like, drinking heavily, yeah. or, um, uh, violent abuse, right? Yeah. But here's what he's been left with and scarred with for, for parents, is bad gift buying. Yeah, and that's the Victoria the bad, Plum incident. In the greatest scheme of things in the world, yeah, but that's not a bad thing to have, is it? <laughs> Uh, there was this, there was this, this is what it's like about getting presents and stuff, right? Mm. With me, with my mum and dad. Go on. My mate, Colin, right? He Colin had a, No, Colin Bailey. Oh, right? yeah. He had a, uh, little, uh, Sinclair Spectrum, right? Yeah. Computer. Yeah. Which was like the, the, the thing to oh, have at that yeah, time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You used to always go round to his house. The it's deal was- Not the one you had to play through the window, cause you weren't allowed- No, no, that's you. another lad. Oh, right? yeah. This is, this is a different lad. And the deal was, he came to our house, and my mum gave him a pie. <laughs> And then I'd go round to his, and I'd stay there for a few hours playing, you know, Hungry Oris and stuff like that on it. <laughs> sure. right? Now, my mum and dad knew that I really wanted one of these computers, right? So I waited about a year, came round to Christmas Day, I thought, I reckon, uh, might have one. Turned out, they bought me the wrong one, they bought me a ZX81 <laughs> instead of a Spectrum, right? And, Christmas Day, 
I'm there trying to load the games up, it's not working, I'm thinking, what's wrong? Right? And the thing with me, when I was a kid, I used to get quite sort of agitated This is the, this is the moment. Right? I found out that it needed a RAM pack to make it work. Right? Looking in the thing and it's saying, and, and make sure you put your RAM pack in the back. And I was like, oh, where's the RAM pack? And my dad's going, I don't know, I've got you the main bit. That's, that's it. So, I was that wound up, I just was sick. <laughs> right? <laughs> Just sick. I, I didn't feel sick or anything, I just was like, oh god. Went to the sink, just, just sick. Cause I was that on edge about it. I said, come on, we've gotta get one. And my dad's like, Tandy's shut, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get anything today. Ruined again, Christmas day. That was after the year when my train set got blown up by our kid. The following year, no ram pack. And now you ask me why don't I get good presents. He's stunned. <laughs> He just, just I'm gonna die. Honestly, I'm gonna die. The only thing is just being sick. Yeah. <laughs> There's no ramp pack. What? <laughs> Why was- did you get to the bottom of it? Why wasn't there a ramp pack? You have to buy them separate. Oh, okay. Okay. What do you mean I can't play Frogger? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So, um, there wasn't there another incident when you threw up? Spontaneously threw up? Oh. Through sheer anxiety? I, I do get it. It's, uh, it's not so much now, cause I've, I've relaxed a bit, but as a kid I used to be quite- on edge all the time with certain things. Do you think that's what happened to your The cat? wind that kept being sick. That it didn't get the food it wanted. And it just threw up. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. God, so they shaved it. <laughs> yeah, but again, you see, the cat thing... I mean, it's mad, I was thinking about it the other day, right? I, I used to think I had quite a normal upbringing. <laughs> you didn't. Right, and someone was talking your about Your mother once told you not to go to school because it was windy, Carl. It yeah, was not right? a normal upbringing. The cat was being sick, so she shaved it, so it was easier to clean. <laughs> right, well, my mum and dad went on holiday, right, and I <laughs> stayed at the Rosses down the road. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Only a kid, must have been about five or something, right? And, uh, I was always running around in the house, I had a lot of energy as a kid. What the Rosses did, they had this cat that was dead violent, the most violent sort of angry cat I have ever <laughs> witnessed. <laughs> a tiger. It was, it, honestly Steve, if it was bigger it would have been, because it was just always having a go at you. Yeah. If you went to pat it on the head, it went to bite you and stuff. And what they used to do with it, to stop me running around, I'd sort of be running around, and then I'd get a bit tired, and they'd say, have a lie down on the settee. So I'd, I'd lie down on the settee and I'd nod off, and what they used to do, I'd wake up and they'd have put the cat on my belly. <laughs> right? So I'd be scared to move because it's like it's gonna get me. But it would keep you there. It, it kept me there and it used to sort of slaver on me and they'd sort of, you know, go out or whatever and I'd be lying there. That's not normal, is it? Carl, oh, sorry, were you created by the Brothers Grimm <laughs> for one of their fairy tales? What kind of a life is that? A cat paperweight to keep yeah, Carl yeah. in place. He keeps blowing around, it's windy. <laughs> we'll have to weigh him down. Be careful, your mum probably told him that it's a windy day, you got to get something heavy on him. Otherwise he just gets blown into the road. Carl, have you ever logged on to Friends Reunited? It was the site that everyone was talking about last year. No. Are you aware of the concept? I've heard about it, but there's no one at from school who would want to see it again, with. really. So basically, for those that don't know, you have to log onto his website and then you can help, it helps you track down your old schoolmates if they've also logged on and stuff. And, uh, we took, took the liberty, really, of, of looking on the Friends Reunited site and typing in your school <laughs> and trying to track down any of your old mates. We didn't get in touch with any of them, don't we worry. We didn't do that. We're we not going to surprise you with them now. No. But I was just interested to know, like, some of your thoughts on some of the names that I could run past you. I mean, these are people from your year. Um, just tell me if you recognise the names. Alison Birch? I think I remember her. What's your thought? What's your thoughts on it? Uh, no, don't. Don't Kate be libelous. Don't yeah. say it. Don't be like, no. No. Oh. Um, Posh, uh, probably did pretty well in history and that. <laughs> Sarah Morris? God, yeah. Remember, uh. Go on. You're grinning. What's the thought? <laughs> Go on. No, just, um, she was alright. She was a popular one. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it was, she was nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, what about, uh, Darren Buckley? He was, uh, he was one of my best mates. Was he really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. What do you reckon he's doing now? Do you still keep in touch? Um, when my mum and dad were still in Manchester and they had a booty shop, he used to go in because the bookies was next door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he paints a picture. He used if, to, uh, if you did this in your history exam, Carl, you will walk it. Go on, so you, your parents had a butty shop, there was a bookies next door. Yeah, and he, 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 he liked having a bit of a gamble, so he used to, um, I think he works for some insurance company. Do you think that his fiance Beth knows he's got a gambling problem? <laughs> 
<laughs> or his two-year-old son Lewis. No. Yeah, they live in Cheadle Hume. Uh, Hume. Oh, he must be doing well. Cause it's he's still supporting the Blue Army and frequents the shrine on a fortnightly basis. Funny thing with him is, right, when um, <laughs> uh, he used to stay over at his house, and um, his dad was a copper, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and I remember. <laughs> His dad came down and said, right, I want to see you two. I was like, oh, God, what's happened? And, um, got us round the, round the table. He said, um, <laughs> do you know much about drugs? So we were like, well, what's all this about? So he goes, you know, they, they're not, they're not good for anyone, you know, the stupid thing to get into. And we're like, yeah, we know. And he went, you know, do you? He said, yeah. He said, what's this then? And he'd found something in his bedroom and it was a skittle. <laughs> what the sweets? You know, little sweets with the S on it. And <laughs> oh, really? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he said, well, yeah, it's a skittle. Yeah, I know what it is. He said, oh, he's bluffing like that as a slang word. Yeah, he thought, he thought, because he was a copper, he probably had to be down with all the terms and that. So we said, oh, it's a skittle. And he, he said, yeah, yeah, I know what it is, but what's it doing in your bedroom? <laughs> oh. And it was like, no, it's a toffee. <laughs> so, uh, oh, Darren, uh, yeah, I know, it's a toffee, it's a squib, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah. Carl, more people from your, uh, past. Debbie Carr? Yeah, she was, uh, she was another nice one. <laughs> one <laughs> what does that mean? Is that a euphemism? <laughs> no, she was one of them that you'd sort of go, she's nice, but you, she'd never be your girlfriend. Do you know what I mean? She was, Not really. even though she was in the same year, she seemed a lot older. Right. And it like, wasn't a teacher, was it? There was, there was three of them who all hung together and they seemed to hang around like the older kids, the ones who looked like men. Do you know what I mean? They had yeah. What did you look like then? Well, it's just that I, I had youthful sort of looks, sure. whereas like the older ones had like beards and stuff. <laughs> It's a gang of boys in the fifth form with beards. Were they smoking pipes? <laughs> Going, come over here, me Philly. Oh, you, you, oh, you Debbie Carr, come over here, you little beauty. No, but she was like, I love that. Oh, you know, hanging around with beards. There's the big boys. Oh, fishing. <laughs> uh, lovely beards. What do you I just see a, a whole row of George Bernard Shaw's. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do in history, boy? <laughs> yeah. They got an E. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh. They were like, um, you know, I'd be there sort of plain punching people in the arm. Cause he's oh, yeah. oh, that's a great game. Oh, I love that, punch people in the arm. Is that part of the Olympics, mate? <laughs> it is, it's, 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 I think it was exhibition this year. Right. But it's going to be a pro next year. It's going to be the Winter Olympics because you've got to do it in uh, just a cap sleeve shirt sure. in winter. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you're uh, playing that. She, uh... <laughs> But whilst but I was doing that- But she didn't appreciate that, she used to go, OW! <laughs> <laughs> no, I always think whilst I was doing that, they were like the Charlie's Angels and they'd be sorting out a mission somewhere. Cause they were really like, there was something about them that yeah. you thought, you know, well, yeah, they're special. We were private we're, detectives. We <laughs> <laughs> work for a man they never see. Okay, what, well, yeah. th th here's a name I'm interested in because, uh, well let me just tell you the name first. Uh, Adam Clifton. Hmm. Oh. Go what? on, what are your thoughts on Clifton? Uh, he was one of them kids, he was alright, but. He had that thing when, um, if he didn't have enough milk. <laughs> he had like, uh, wrinkly hands and, <laughs> like, white, uh, white bits in his nails. Oh! Cause yeah. he didn't have enough milk. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. therefore, <laughs> you didn't like him because you didn't get enough milk. This is not to be confused with the two people with the big heads and the webbed feet, is it? Webbed hands. Well, this was <laughs> interesting. I know that they weren't related. They must have been somewhere along the evolutionary sort of trail. Do you know what I mean? They must have come from the same sort of stock. But no, you, you wouldn't have liked him. He's just, he's just one of them people. He was all right, but. He, he well, can I, before anymore. you say any more, um, on the, on Fred's United, you can leave a little message which explains what you've been doing and uh, what's what your you know your life's like now. And most people leave maybe two paragraphs. Yeah. Adam, I've printed it off. He seems to have printed. I think it's, there's about six pages here. Of stuff, he keeps updating it, and he he just basically lists his memories about everyone, okay, yeah. I, I, at the school and uh, what he thinks of everyone, and uh, he says I often see Simon da 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 da. He's doing right for himself, self-employed illustrator, Mark Cooper, Carl Pilkington, All right, and your name comes up. Now I don't know if you've told us this story. I think you may have done, but I can't remember the facts about it. It just says Carl Pilkington with his pet bird. Was it a magpie? I can't remember. He brought it to school to show everyone, and it flew away. <laughs> No, they do that, don't they? You them what what you, was the you story? Give them, you give them seed and they just leave. The, what do you mean? Well, this sounds like Kez. Well, that's <laughs> it. I was a big fan of Kez, and um, <laughs> it was the time our dog had just died. Yeah. So I didn't have any pets, and the cats were always getting run over. <laughs> yeah. And um, so 
we didn't want any more pets. Yeah. But there was a magpie that used to fly about on the estate, and I managed to, um, sort of tame it. <laughs> and, um, in the end- With, with came, a chair and a whip? What do you mean you tamed it? Well, just used to sort of hang around it and talk- But how'd you get it. hold of it? Did you catch it? Well, eventually, yeah, it used to just come to me, and I, the annoying thing was, it got to a point when I wish I hadn't bothered, because it- <laughs> it used to pop me bike tires, it used to- it used to sit on- on like, if I was talking to my mates and I was on my grifter. <laughs> He just throws things in. <laughs> it's like an Alan, Alan Bennett play. <laughs> it, it landed on my tyre and it used to peck at the tyre and pop it and then- Oh it no. To, it used to then never go away so it was always like around the house and my dad said never bring it in. So it used to sit on the porch <laughs> and I used to go out and it used to fly down and land on my head. Oh. And it really hurt. It used to like peck and stuff. <laughs> so he thought it was a tyre. <laughs> so it wasn't so much tamed <laughs> as a stalker. <laughs> oh god! Yeah. So you took it to school and it flew away? Yeah. So did you take it in proudly going, look at my magpie- oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh no. So it, it, I think it got a bit confused in the area that it was in, cause I used to just keep it sort of around our estate, but sure. the school was a bit of a distance away. How did you get it so, there? Carrying it on my finger. Did you walk? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So it was happy there yeah, and then it got it, to- uh? But it used to be one of those things that people would stop me in the street and sort of go, oh, what's that? And, and did- I don't Maggie suppose you- called it Maggie. You didn't get, uh, Charlie's Angels to go and find out what happened to it? <laughs> investigate? Were they impressed? No, uh, not really. I'm just gonna tell the, uh, the, uh, the listeners there, Carl, this is quite a little insecure sort of chap, and he was just worried about that last bit. He was going, who would ever find that interesting? He was worried about people finding him boring. And Steve said, as I said, you know, it's- it's like an Alan Bennett thing. You went, yeah, but, you know, no one would care about Alan Bennett if he wasn't such a hit maker. They wouldn't care what he had to say. And we just looked at him for a while and he went, ah, oh, thinking of Tony Bennett. <laughs> Bless him. Listen, it's almost the end of the show, Carl. Oh, yeah. And it's really been a Carl special. I it says a Carl special. Yeah. Well, next week, we we'll, we'll lay off next, next week. week. We have to We're know. not going to, uh, He's, He wants to retire. A little bit, just uh... Well those old uh, lottery numbers might come up tonight anyway. Exactly. You might- what are they again? What's the four you've got with? Fuck my way now. What- come on, well give us all six. No. Why? Carl, while you're um, rummaging for that- Five, nine, twelve and twenty-six. A few more names that you may recall from Friends Reunited. Go on. Lisa Shufflebotham? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember her? Yeah, she uh... Was she one of Charlie's Angels? She, no, no, she wasn't that nice, but she wanted me. <laughs> her and her and her mate Rachel. I remember. I don't know why, but it was some sort of PE lesson where it had to be a bloke and two girls, and they were fighting over me. <laughs> and Could you hear what they were saying? They, were just, they, they were just like, "I want him," and I was loving it. Stuck in the middle, and they were fighting over me. And then the next week, I thought I'll sit near them. What again. sort of game do they play at this school? I don't know. That's an incredible game. But I think- Punch me on the arm! No, punch me on the arm, Carl! They just, they just went through it. Cause the following week I thought, right, I'll sit near them again cause I quite enjoyed the way they fighted over me. But then they picked somebody else and, I don't know, who I was with that week. So d you didn't, uh, didn't get any action with the shuffle both or a friend? No. And what? then as she got older, she went a bit off. <laughs> Like a, she's probably nice now. It's just, I mean, I'll say about myself, when when you get to sort of the end of secondary school, you do sort of go a bit odd looking. Right. Do you know what I mean? When you yeah. sort of- head grows funny. <laughs> I, I, I would just love to go back to his school of that era. I mean, just what happened to people, whether, you know, all people sprouting limbs and No, do you know what I mean? When, when you're like 12 and that, you, you're quite- no, not 12, when you're 10. When you're 7 to 10, you sort of look healthy. And you look at your pictures when you go, yeah, I was a good looking lad. But then when you get to mm. late secondary school, something happens. Yeah. And you just look a bit odd. Okay, well what about Alison Thorpe? <laughs> Not sure about her. I, I sort of know the name, can't put a face to it. Damien Co uh, Comer? Again, know the name. Yeah. Can't remember anything. No. Yeah. It's a shame. Well, those are pretty much all the names I could find. We've had some interesting thoughts though, and interesting anecdotes. Yeah. Anyone in particular that you'd like to uh, to say hello to that uh, maybe maybe listening now that no, you? No, I think I would have mentioned Darren Buckley if you hadn't brought him up. Oh right, he was, he was like my buddy. Yeah. yeah. Did so. you ever see the um, uh, magpie again when you took it to the school and confused it? No. You're joking. That was the end of it, was it? Yeah. So where did it go? Probably uh, to some other kid. Because I mean, oh. actually, it probably got killed. Because <laughs> if if it was being that friendly with other people, some people might have took advantage of it. <laughs> in what way? <laughs> well, there was a program on the other week about- What, in the way that Shufflebotham was trying to take advantage of you? Well, <laughs> yeah. There was a program on the other week about bear whisperers. 
Yeah. And, uh, some blokes got really friendly with a bear, and then the, the, when they were leaving that area where the bear was, they said, oh, we've caused a problem here, because there's some bear hunters coming in and moving into this area, mm. and it's gonna get a bullet if it, if it acts like this, so they had to scare it away, and that's what I should have done with, with Maggie. I should have terrified it a little bit, so <laughs> it wouldn't trust humans. You know, Just introduced <laughs> it to some of your schoolmates, I'm sure would have <laughs> yeah. freaked it right out. Well, the ones with Maybe the that was why it fled. It, it didn't yeah, see- oh no, it didn't see those two fellas with big heads and webbed f hands coming towards it, did it? That would have terrified anything. It's like a scarecrow, like a two walking <laughs> scarecrow. <laughs> Listen, have we got time for a song for the news? What's, what's happening? Oh. We've, we've not really thought. Quick then, quick, just do it, just do it. Thanks very much. Well, no, no, we haven't li li lined anything up, have we? I was gonna play, uh, Mary Lawson and that for you. And then Is this gonna be the final track? It has to yeah, be. it would be, yeah. We've blown it. We've blown it on the Carl special. We have indeed. I'll play it next week. So, Carl there's got an E at history in GCSE. Yeah. Any history teachers, anyone who can help Carl out, I think we should try and register him and take it this June. So, uh, So what's your homework for this week? Uh, you got to read about Che Guevara, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. The revolutionary leader. Yeah. Okay. Do you know anything about him at all? Have you got any basis? I just know that if you want to use his face on your business, it costs a lot of money. <laughs> Do you know, like, if, if McDonald's wanted to have him as, like, instead of Ronald McDonald? How does he do it? Once, right, in school, um, we had a French dictionary, and you know, um, ice cold co co coke on the back of my throat, singing hello summertime, it's the real thing. Remember that? No! Oh, you were there. We translated that into French. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the end of that story? Yeah! That's the end of the story. Yeah. But I know it in French. Do it. But it doesn't make sense, we just literally did the word. Go on, let the me word, word. I can't believe you remember it. It's tres fois, coke, sur le derriere, et mon gosh, chante bonjour, est tu au temps, celebrate. That's the only French you know, isn't it? <laughs> it's not even French! We just did it word for word, it doesn't make any sense! Can you say another word of French? Le, can you quote Le plume de ma tante. Can you, can you, can you quote thing. anything else? Is there anything else you can quote other than that? Is there anything else you learned at school that you can remember word for word? No? Nothing. Le chat est sur le mur. I don't just mean French, I mean anything. English, maybe some, a, a bit of poetry mean? that you can remember? Of course I can, yeah. Go on, quote a bit of poetry for me. Um, like what? Like whatever soft, you remember. Like through on the window breaks, it is the east and Juliet is the sun, the rise west sun and kill the envious moon, it was already sick as well. Anyway, what, what do you want? Doesn't really count. What, Shakespeare doesn't count? No, cos that's the right, everyone knows that one. Oh, go and what then? What should I know? The Wind Hover by Gerald Manley Hopkins. <laughs> Oh, you can do that one. I caught this morning's morning minion, Kingdom of Daylight, still think that one, Dawn Falcon and his riding of the Hold on, no, what, no. We haven't done Carl yet. Wait a minute, K-Man. Anything you can remember from school that you learned, that you had to maybe, uh, memorize? French. French. Not necessarily French, you can be Anything, it. anything you can remember. This can be anything you remember from school, apart from the orange stuff stops cancer. Yeah. It, it's not the cough that carries you off, it's the cough in <laughs> that carries you off in. Well, I, d I didn't really want to make it a Christmassy type show because I don't, you don't really like it. Oh, he's done it again. Well, he did Christmas once, didn't like it. No, he, my dad always said. Oh, right, steady on. Dad said Christmas morning was for like you know for me, so he used to stay in bed. Mm. So he, ne he never. That's got brilliant. That's a great thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Christmas morning's for you. Run wild, do what you want. Just yeah, don't so bother so me. I'm going to Honolulu <laughs> for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Dad. It's Christmas. Do I have to do anything? No. So my mum used to get up because she used to like to see me face light up. You know, when I, when I opened the presents. And then, uh... <laughs> to keep fireworks. And then, uh... <laughs> then I'd have to go to my bedroom from about six o'clock onwards, cos, like, my mum and dad were into having big Christmas parties, and I wasn't, like, old enough to go. Right. So they'd say, right, you know, you've had your fun there, you go up to your bedroom, stay in there. <laughs> and, really? Yeah, I remember one year, right, I got, I got a train set, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Right? It's brilliant. Uh, playing with it all day. I thought, I don't mind about the party, I'm happy staying up here, playing with this. Brother comes in. He's had a few, right? He's going, yeah, give us a go on your How train. How old is he? He's, he's a bit older than me, so he, he might have been like, uh, let's see. Well, let, me, let him be 18. About, yeah, probably about 18, 19, and something like you? that. I was, well, I had a train set, so, I don't know, about- 14. <laughs> something like that, yeah. right? So, uh, so I'm playing on that, loving it and stuff, and then he comes in and goes, oh, gives a go. He turns the transformer up to like 14. He went really fast for about five seconds, broke it, and then he went back downstairs. 
Wow. So Christmas Island in Gotham. Sounds like Day. the uh, Conservative government with uh, British Rail. <laughs> satire, that is. Sat- no, Rick, well. I just thought that there's sat- satire. <laughs> it's there's any satirical it's, 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 shows this in or it doesn't, work, it doesn't work in any way because there's, there's, there's the analogy falls down no. apart from there being a train. Think it through though. British Rail was trains. <laughs> yeah. And the government broke the trains in many ways. Well, they didn't break them, like not officially breaking them, but they kind oh, of. Yeah. It's yeah, it does work. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty pleased with that. And I can't, and, and no one's asked him to be on the Margot News for you. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Because it's strange that. <laughs> Yeah. When you've got a satirical mind that that's, that's as quick as that. Yeah. All and right. it's about your little train set. So what did you do? I just like watched telly and had some sausages. <laughs> I bet you were happy with that though, weren't you? Uh, it's a bit annoying though, isn't it? When your main present of the year has been broke. And and then, did, it, uh, did it ever get it fixed? No, that was it. That was it. Put away. I'm intrigued why your parents wouldn't let you come and join in the festive fun. Was because it like really debauched down there? Was it like eggnog nah, everywhere? Well, no, like but that. I mean, that's fair enough. Six seems a little bit early, but I just think, you know, if you're a kid, you, you know, he had those fun, put him to bed, put him to bed at eight maybe. <laughs> and you fix on Christmas Day, I thought that was a day for family. Well, not if there's a party going on. I well, don't have the party on the Christmas Day. Well, that's, that's that's another option. Yeah. yeah, your parents are weird, aren't they? A strange breed. Well, I think that was the year, right? I, uh, <laughs> you're talking about buying presents and stuff. I think I did treat my mum to. I didn't buy my dad anything. I think that was like when I got a bit older, I used to get my dad something because he wasn't that bothered anyway. No. Mm. So uh, got me mum. Uh, there was a cheap shop, right? <laughs> of course. Uh, Thank God for that. Called Snips. Right? <laughs> so I went in there and I thought, let's see what I can get her. And remember uh, Victoria Plum? I don't think so. Well, it's like a, a fairy character. Right. Right. I mean, mum's into gnomes <laughs> and stuff, right? So I thought, right. She must be pleased with you then. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, so, Victoria uh, Plum. I was thinking, is that one of the neighbours? Is it? Is it like a brandy yeah, do liqueur? You remember Victoria Plum. Victoria Plum. Victoria Plum. Yeah, it's like a little fictional sort of character. Right? Okay. Okay. So, uh, so I saw it. I thought, yeah, she'll love that. Right. So I did my paper round, saved up for two weeks. Right. Oh. Got that sorted. Went to Snips, bought the uh, Victoria Plum. Next day, I'm in I'm in town with her. Right. So I think, ah, oh, I know what I'll do. I said, come come in here a minute. Right. Uh, so we go in and we're looking around and I tested her, right? I went, look at that there. That's all right, isn't it? And she goes, oh, it's bloody awful. <laughs> oh, Carl. <laughs> oh, Carl. I just, I, I, oh, God. So then Christmas Day comes. I said, oh. don't bother opening it. She said, no, no, why? Said, oh, no, why well, you still give it to her? So, well, it's too late. I'd already bought it. Oh, Carl. So she opened it and oh. I was like, <sighs> And she said, oh, that's nice. I said, why are you saying that? I said, the other day, so it's bloody awful. She said, oh, no, I thought you were pointing at something else. Oh, no. So that's why I don't get anyone anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, just play record. When I did boxing at the youth club. Once, when he did boxing, he fought once, he fought a little weak kid, because it was his first day, battered him. Next week, it was someone else's turn, and he got bad, and he left. <laughs> yeah, I said, right, I've had enough. But there was... There was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was a ladder there that I had to work, right? And I decided after the sort of the, the first step, I thought, it's not for me, this. Mm, yeah. But if you win, it's all kind of like, right, well. Yeah, the world's your oyster. But it's a program. It's just a one off program, isn't it? It's, it's like, it is like you got to treat it like faking it. Yeah, but faking it, right? That little gay fella who ended up being a doorman, he's actually doing that as a proper job now or something. He loved it so much. <laughs> Do you seriously think <laughs> I have any intentions of getting into the fight game and leaving <laughs> entertainment behind? Well, what's the point then? <laughs> what what do you mean? What's the point in what's what's the point in watching television? It's entertainment. Or educational. I, I watch it to sort of soak in. Well this is educational. I'm learning a lot. I'm actually learning a lot and it's I can't believe my luck. I've got professionals telling me, you know, hopefully how to lose weight and punch hard. That's just fun. It's like like having golf lessons. Right. But say I mean, here's an example. Go it's on. a it's a nice way to plug it. We've got rock busters coming up in about ten minutes or something, right? <laughs> Now, Look forward to that. <laughs> people, yeah. people email in, and they don't just do it for fun. They do it because they know they've got some good prizes lined up. Right. So they're doing it because it gets them something. Yeah, my, my prize is that I've learned something in life. I've gone through an experience, and hopefully I'll come out in some way better if I don't get mashed. That's it. That's uh, the prize. That's why we do anything, isn't it? I think this is this is an example of you, Carlos. You give up too easily. Yeah, you, know, and you, you don't, you don't, you don't you give that up straight away. You think there's no point in anything. I did, I did Crusaders for a... I think I, I lasted that out for about four weeks. What's, What's that? Crusaders? Well, he was my mate, right? He uh, <laughs> he, was, he, he was religious. Uh huh. And I, I'm not really. 
Um, but... No, I mean, you believe in ghosts, though, and shadows pushing people off bikes, but go on. But it's the same time, I think I told you once before that I went to the church with this lad because right. I swore and he said he was going to tell me dad. Yeah. And yeah. I said, effing and jeffing. So he said, if you come... <laughs> <laughs> is that how they get people to church nowadays? I, I love that what kid that, yeah, he hasn't quite got, uh, got the idea of the protection game. No. There's nothing in it for him. Either you turn to religion or I tell your father. <laughs> right, so, uh, so I went to church with him and that, and then the next week he said, I know that was rubbish and you didn't enjoy it. It's when I got kicked out for messing with the tennis ball in the pews, right? I don't think we've heard that, but I don't think we could possibly <laughs> well, go into that now. Summed it up. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Well, no. No, come, we, come on. That's we'll it. come back that's, to that. Well, you okay. had a tennis that's ball and some pubes. <laughs> no, in the pews. In the pews, pews right. Yeah. But anyway, so I, I went there and I said, I don't think much of this church thing, it's a bit boring. Um, <laughs> Sorry, and so you went to church and you ended up in the Crusades. <laughs> No, the, the it's called, it's the called crusade? the Crusaders. What it is, it's meant to be the fun part of religion for kids. Uh -huh. right? right. And my mate said, oh, you want to come along? It's, uh, you know, you go on a Friday night yeah. and uh, do it on a Sunday as well. Right. right. So I went on the Friday night, it was brilliant. They had Sabutio. Uh, play table tennis in this dead big old house. And what do they do right. at the end? Say, oh, I hope you enjoy yourself. Remember, God gave you <laughs> yeah. all this. Well, yeah. it's sort of, you know, enjoy the simple things in life. You don't need computer games. You can play uh, table tennis and, mm -hmm. and talk with your friends yeah. and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's all right. I think uh, you'd be happy in a Young Offenders Institute. <laughs> <laughs> You get to clean uh, the toilets there. But as don't well. forget, Carl. I think God invented Nintendo too. <laughs> right. Well, anyway, so that was all right. I loved it on the Friday. Yeah. I mean, mate said if you go for four weeks, four like weeks in a row without missing a day. Yeah. Uh, you get a free badge, you know, and I, salvation. I don't, I don't, I don't like <laughs> yeah. all this sort of being stuck in stuff. Do you know, right. that's yeah. what yeah. Yeah, get down. yeah. You know what I mean, it's like oh, every day. Yeah. Right. So um, anyway, so so you've got to come again on Sunday. So I thought, well, we'll have another game of table tennis. It'll be all right. Yeah. So anyway, I go on the Sunday. <laughs> Who was oh. this? Who was this servant of God? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I go on the Sunday. It's like a totally different club. There's no table tennis. <laughs> that's how they trick you. No sabutio. Yeah. They start handing out Bibles. Oh. And it's I, like a timeshare like, thing. Hang on a minute, right? <laughs> They're tricky. So, so I didn't go again on Sundays. I just go on the Friday. Just go on the Friday. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. I'm amazed no one else saw through that. <laughs> 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 well, the thing is, there used to be loads there on the Friday, so they won't, they won't even notice if that yeah. I'm not, like, yeah, do you sure. know what I mean? <laughs> that I'm not showing up on a Sunday. So anyway, uh, carried on. It was just this kid in the video. Oh, I love that. You, you got one over on the church. So yeah. I, I was loving it, right? Playing table tennis and that. Yeah, and then, no uh, on a Sunday, phew, they found out where I live, and the head fella started coming round, knocking on the door. God! <laughs> <laughs> He's everywhere, Rich. <laughs> Why did he knock? The fella who, like this. <laughs> the fella who, who like, ran the club, he started coming around and knocking on the door. And I saw him coming up the path and I said to me, Mum, oh, it's the fella from the Crusaders. Yeah. She didn't even know what I was No. In. She, she, she was thought like, you were off you nicking hubcaps and stealing cars. She yeah, didn't yeah. have a clue what I was it's talking about. You've been going to church. Yeah. church. I don't you believe you it. little bleeder. That's not how we brought you up. <laughs> so uh, I said, look, just tell him I'm, I'm not in. Tell him I'm not in. And she had to keep doing this and they were coming around every Sunday to try and make me, like, Go, yeah. go on a Sunday, it was really yeah. important that I went and that yeah. I was abusing the system and all this. Anyway, I didn't go, um, and then- Why then, didn't they just tell you on the next time we turned up on a Friday? <laughs> yeah. No, well, I, I, because there was so many people there on a Friday, you just get mixed in in the crowd. Right. right. It was jammed, it was well popular on a Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But anyway, on one of the Sundays, um, it was, it was quiet for a bit, and, um, they stopped coming round. So I thought, right, I can go out again, right, on a Sunday, because I used to avoid hanging around the house. In what case sort yeah. of reign of terror <laughs> is this? It's incredible. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, so I thought, right. It's like the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, great, they forgot about me. Yeah. Uh, everything, I can carry on in sort of normal life now. Yeah. And uh, I was playing out in the avenue, fella comes round. Oh. And he goes, there you are, you, oh, you, you know, you're always busy on a Sunday. Uh, you enjoy Fridays and that, don't you? I was like, yeah, yeah. He goes, well, come on, you've got to come with me. And I couldn't get out of it. No. You know I mean, uh, it's like, what could I say? Charlie says. Right? Yeah. So, um, anyway, he nearly killed me in a car crash. <laughs> So that was the excuse I used next time. He had a Mini, right? And right. he was driving us there and he hit the curb, nearly sort of turned over the Mini. Oh. And it was like three of us in the back. So I said- <laughs> That record. So next time, was he, it came, a joke? Next time he came round to pick us up, I said, look, really enjoyed it and that. I said, but ever since that journey, I really, you know, I don't, I don't want to get in the car with you again because it scared me a bit. I right. said, all right then, I didn't have to go again. 
That's all right, isn't it? That's extraordinary. Yeah. He almost killed you in a car crash. That's terrible. Thank, thank God no one was hurt. Mm. Yeah. I remember that-, that Your th life moves in incredible ways. Yeah. Rather like God. Yeah. So, uh, so they're, pro go. they're probably around there now, aren't they? Go ahead, is he coming tomorrow? <laughs> See, it's weird because now, now it has got out of hand. Do you sure. know what I mean? Like years ago when I was growing up on the estate, um, yeah, you had problems, but not like you have now. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm. Um, you know, so some, were nice as well, weren't they? Well, <laughs> right. And Police are getting shorter, aren't you? But you yourself kind of admitted in the past that you were something of a tear away. Didn't, you didn't do anything yeah, like never, these kids I here. I mean, the but thing is, I was, I was scared that if I got caught doing it, my dad would go mad. Yes. And I remember smashing a car window by accident and legging it in the lounge and sort of pretending to go asleep on the settee. Jesus. <laughs> and I heard a knock at the door. He chloroformed himself <laughs> just to be unconscious when his dad came home. And there was a knock on the door and I thought, <laughs> oh God, this is a fellow he saw me. I was chucking a stone in the air, seeing how high I could throw it. <laughs> of course and you he, were. He Did he keep landing on your head? <laughs> That would explain a lot. <laughs> and, uh, it, it came down. Junk in the, uh, stone in the air, love <laughs> to it. see how far I it's can brilliant. throw it. brilliant. So, you know, uh, I wasn't bothering anyone. Did you invent that, that game? Right. Did so you get anyway. a stone for your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> go and play with your stone. He gave one to Suzanne. Carl, go and play with your stone. <laughs> yeah. no, the thing is, right, and it came down at a fun, funny angle, and it ate, of course it, did. it ate the back of this uh, car, and the, and the back window is the most expensive because it has that heating thing in it, yeah, in case yeah. you got a frosty window. Yeah. So I thought, oh god. <laughs> so I legged it in, got on the settee, went to sleep, knocked out the door. Genius! It's went a brilliant plan. It's a brilliant plan. I it, couldn't be guilty. I'm asleep. So, so I love the idea. So uh, the thing is. Our lounge used to sort of you could you could see in from the door, right? So this family who uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw you... me do it, let, saw me asleep on the settee, and my mum said, "Go and get the door." And I sort of went oh, as if I'd been asleep. Yeah. I went to the door like rubbing my eyes, and uh, the fella said, "What did you run off for? I saw you." I was like, "Oh no." And I didn't see me dad. I went out. It was when he was working, sort of evenings. So I went out, so I didn't have to see me dad. And then the next day, I came. I came home from school, and my dad said, forty-five quid." Oof. That's all he said. That's what he looked at me. And then you fell asleep when he went, wake up, wake up. You know what I said? No, <laughs> 45 quid. Now the thing Carl, is, he, right. he didn't have to do 45 anything. pounds, Carl. Now I know you were saving up for a brick, <laughs> but you can't have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just do it. So, yeah, um, equally, if you're doing a bigger crime, you know, like yeah. a bank job yeah. or a murder. Remember to take the stocking off your head, because they yeah. wake you up and go, why have you got a stocking on your head? Yeah. Just go, oh, I had a weird dream. <laughs> right, uh, okay, look, quick um, query for you. This is from uh, Jay. He's got a problem here. Um, he says, uh, my parents won't let me ditch my studies. He's currently reading modern languages at London University. Sure. He wants to follow his dream, but his parents won't let him, of being a dancer. Carl. Worse than that, he says that they're trying to arrange a marriage to a bunch of uh, minging daughters of people they know from good families. He doesn't know what to do. So he's got the arranged marriage coming along, and he's also got, you know, he basically wants to, you know, wants to be a dancer. His parents are forcing him into um, something more practical. Well, the first thing, right? I don't think Live the, your dreams? the arranged marriage thing is such a bad idea. Okay. Because I think too many people go on looks. Right. And then you soon get bored of that, mm -hmm. and you find out the person who you're knocking about with is actually not your type. Right. right. Why don't you arrange marriages? for people. Well, uh, I'm just saying, right, so I'd say, uh, Jay, go along with that. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. I mean, if they're really ugly, then, you know, don't go along with it. But if they're half bad, yeah. put up with it. That's sure. right. The dancing. Brilliant. Right. <laughs> That's that solved. Brilliant. I wanted to be a dancer. <laughs> After I did the boxing, right, I joined a uh, joined a dancing thing just near um, Man United's ground, right, called Twiggies. Right. Um, <laughs> went it? along. I wanted to learn some moves. How old I, were you? Uh, well, it was when Michael Jackson was like pretty big, so about 80, 83, 84, 85, oh, yeah. something like that, around there. Um, wanted to do it. Um, when I went. It was shut, and it had become like a warehouse for uh, toilet rolls. <laughs> so in a way, I wonder what would have happened. Sorry, sorry, how is that an anecdote about you going through <laughs> dancing? <laughs> Well, You've I'm told me before, you you did boxing for a while, you did dancing for a while, you had a true fight in the boxing, you didn't even get in the pl That's not an- you, yeah, Imagine if that was a film! This is a, a boy's dream of becoming a dancer. 
<laughs> oh, it's shut. Next on. I mean, you, how is that a story? Yeah, is that with Billy Elliot? Do you think he won, <laughs> won, he won quite as many awards? Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Footloose. All right, <laughs> yeah. I'm fed up. They banned it. Let's go. Oh, it's shut. Flash dance. First, there was. Uh, it's a warehouse. <laughs> Never mind. You. I'm, I'm just saying. You know, you'll find something else. I, I can't. I think I got a go kart after that. <laughs> I bought a motorised go kart and kept myself busy with that. So. <laughs> There's always, there's always other this things. This thing, Alan Bennett has to sit down and really sweat over his stories. Yes. Well, we've talked about this before, haven't we? About uh, the cloning thing. Yeah. That's no, a bit weird. Yeah. But um, I don't think it matters because at the end of the day, right, you might look like some other kid, but it's the way you've brought that you brought up that will change your features and the way you are, you know, your personality. If you lie, you get a long nose, don't you? Well, no, but listen, right, because I remember when when we you know I was growing up on this estate this is going to be good go on no no it's not it's just a, an example of how this doesn't work go so, on. so we don't need to worry sort of thing sure right? okay so i'm growing up on this estate and there was a there was this woman about 4 houses down right who's a bit rough <laughs> all right didn't fancy her oh god no right but <laughs> she had a Why? baby but well, tell me about her first. I'm interested in this woman. Why was she? It was a very. So, like, a man in a dress. I mean, I didn't grow up in a posh house or anything. And I'm sure. Not, I'm not saying that if you live in a bit of a rough house, mm. you're a bad person. What but, does she look like? But anyone can Tattoos? clean up. Look like make, Tony Green with a fag on. They didn't clean up much, right? Oh. Which, even if you've not got a lot of money, you can still try what, and make a place look nice. Yeah. Right? But she didn't. And a kid used to take a horse into the house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 Neddy, whoa, whoa, Neddy. What do you mean a kid used to take a horse into the house? When they get it, a right? horse? Must have nicked it from somewhere. <laughs> Must have gone. Has you seen a horse in it? No. <laughs> what, is that from outside the saloon round the corner? <laughs> yeah, was it just tied up with a bit of <laughs> No. Um, oh, that's great. I Big, been big out. Jake. <laughs> I'm looking <laughs> for it. I, I've been out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, sorry, let me get this. This was before the lynching stopped or after. <laughs> 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 Where'd he get a um, horse from? What do you mean he must have nicked it? He's going to say, where'd you get that from? I bought it. All right, then. But we'll keep it out of the kitchen. I don't want you going Catlin, Rustling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did he get a horse from, Carl? Just, and how long did he have it for? Until, was he leading it or riding it? <laughs> Mum, open the door, I can't stop! I can't stop it! <laughs> open the patio door as well, I'll be- Looks like we got us a runaway! <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, but the oh. thing is, they couldn't afford to buy one because they're not cheap. So I'm just guessing. Maybe that's wrong of me. But I, I think- He you know, had a horse? Yeah, right, so- That's I, why the family didn't have any money, they'd spend it on the horse. No, exactly. I don't think, that's what I'm saying, I don't think they would have bought it. So anyway- Yeah, it's so, nice to whisper, Carl, in case they're listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's They could not, be in the room next door. It's not buying it, it's keeping it as well. Oh, well, so I, so I was like in the car with my dad, coming yeah. into the avenue, and you used to have to drive down it to turn round. And, yeah. Uh, and you know, sort of go back to, to our house. You had the traditional method of transport, okay. And, uh, the horse was in the lounge. <laughs> Reading a paper. Just, just like walking around. <laughs> oh God! This is what? And when I, when I was doing, I, I tried to earn myself some money once by flogging little flowers in, in plastic cups. What? This right. is genius. <laughs> it just keeps coming. What do you mean you tried to flog little flowers? What do you mean? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's play a record. Let's play a record and come back to this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Just unravel and unravel. It's going to go for hours. Let's play a track. Deeper and deeper. It's like an onion, isn't it? We've created a whole world here where there's a man living with a horse, just walking around the land. I come from the West Country. I've never heard anything like that. I just think of a big sort of like orange carpet and it's got a rediffusion telly and this horse going, "I'm fed up, man." Exactly. This is real. I am not taking the rubbish out again. Yeah. <laughs> right, play a record. Let's have uh, Velvet Underground. We've got that lined up. Oh, yeah, God. the classic from the first album. Uh, I'm waiting for the man. Let's come back to the horse in a second. So we were talking. Uh, we were doing White Van Man, and uh, we got onto. Uh, um, we got onto genetically, uh, genetically modified babies. But and somehow then Carl we... started telling a story about someone with a horse, and then he got onto. He was trying to make money selling flowers. Just do the flowers. Briefly. Well, hang on. I just want to recap slightly. So there was a family, and who had the horse in the family? It was because you lived on a, an estate in Manchester. The, so the, yeah. the mother, the mother was a right pig, apparently. Well, I don't know if that's relevant. You don't need to go that far. But, but, you, but well, what I'm trying to do is like make a picture for you so you understand. What, what a picture like? it is. Who did she look like? Um, bit of a, and no disrespect to her, bit like Pauline Quirk. <laughs> Quirky, yeah. <laughs> right? Okay. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I knew it was going to be Pauline. Did she have any tats? Did she have any tats? I never got that close to her. Okay, all right. So, and so who had the horse? Was this her son or her no, husband? No, her, her daughter. Her daughter had stolen a horse. 
Yeah, from I don't know where there was a. Th I think it was some stables down the road or something. And they they kept the horse in the house with. Them. They kept it in the house. Did but they, they didn't get have it for long? No. So and you said you were in the house one day and you saw the no, horse. No, in what there. happened was I was. Um, they did this thing at school about raising money for charity, right? For some local charity, and they said you can do anything to to raise money, and they came out with all these ideas, and I thought that's good. What was the charity? Well, forget the, well, I don't know. I thought forget the charity. Yeah, that's I'm just a, a good money making advice. So, <laughs> You're a charity. So, um, <laughs> so I asked my mum for some because uh, she used to have a lot of flowers around the house. Sure. I said, can I just take some snippings off them? And uh, I'll go and buy some plastic cups, and uh, got some soil out of the garden, planted the, the the bits of plants in them. Yeah. Got a tray. Yeah. Had about twenty five plants on it, selling yeah. them for twenty five pence each. Excellent. Did you sell any? Yeah, so loads. So they w did you just cut? You didn't just cut them and stick them in yeah, the soil. Yeah, they want to survive. Oh. But I think people sort of thought, well, good on him for trying. But anyway, so I went round to theirs because I thought their house could do with a bit of colour and stuff. Yeah. Because it's a bit rough. So as I went- The horse went, thank God for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> they've, been, they've, they've been feeding me kitty cat. <laughs> so I got up to the door and they opened the door and it was one of them houses where no carpet. <laughs> yeah. A horse in the living room. <laughs> you know. <laughs> We've all been there. And, yeah. and the horse was walking around the living room. Oh. I looked quite happy and everything because- I always say that about animals. Black Beauty right? was on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, think about it, right? If you were a horse, where would you rather be? In a little wooden hut with a load of hay, or in like a house with a central you know, heating, three-piece suite, sure. and a telly and that. <laughs> <laughs> telly and that. <laughs> no, but I was saying this the other day. And an Atari, right? <laughs> I was walking through London. Coming on 64, yeah. rubbish. Exactly. W walking through London with Suzanne, right? Yeah. And do you know how like homeless people always have dogs? And yeah. she said, oh, I hope, I hope she looks after it. And I said, they've got- that dog is happier than most dogs. Right. Because people always walk past and give it a pat on the head. Yeah. It's with its owner all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's out in the open, it's not locked up in a house. Yeah. It doesn't you know eat, I mean? but other than that- <laughs> No, it does eat though, they're always alright. So that's what I was saying, I think this horse- was was doing all right for yeah. itself. Do you know that, I mean? Well, not many horses have got their own house. Is that first start? Yeah. But anyway, that's that's what, that's what by the by. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, this family, who's a bit what we were talking about, it was about cloning. genetically modified kids yeah. and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Right now, what I'm saying is, you could say, you know, right, Steve, you could have a baby, mm -hmm. right? And Ricky could see it and say, God, I want one that looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. It could happen, Rick. <laughs> So come on, work with him. So you take it to the doctors, <laughs> and I don't know what they do. They, they inject it with something or whatever. Yep, that's how yeah. it's done. Yeah, and uh, get a little baby, and there it is. It looks the same. Now the thing is, you separate. You both go off and do your own things. Yep. Right yeah. now, you look at Steve, Stephen. This is you look after your baby. Yeah. You treat it well. You give it good food and all that. Good day. All the vitamins and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Ricky just gives it cheese. <laughs> right. So then it changes its looks. It goes a bit fat. You know, it gets tired easily, and that sort of thing. <laughs> now, when this family- Why am I just feeding a baby cheese? Right? This, this, um, this, this, this family had a horse in the, in, you know, in, the, in their house. Yeah. They had a, a little baby. And my mum went round and said, you're not gonna believe this, but it's a beautiful looking baby. Right? Yeah. And I was like, well, you know. And, uh, the f weird thing is, it was a good looking kid, but as time went on, they didn't really look after it. And I'm not saying like abusing it, but he used to run around, he used to play out till like 10 at night. Yeah. Uh, he used to chase cars. <laughs> right. It was a bit. <laughs> Did it have hooves? <laughs> yeah, no. no. <laughs> Chase cars! Right? What sort of chases cars? <laughs> oh, God! No. Was it called Rover? The weird Did it catch sticks? <laughs> Liam, it was called, right? Right. Now, the weird thing is, it was a good looking kid, but as time went on, and all that, like, not eating properly and its hair was all patchy. <laughs> it's not Liam Gallagher, is it? <laughs> And chasing cars on that, and it became an ugly kid. <laughs> it's definitely Liam Gallagher. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's what I'm saying, right? You can uh, clone, you can clone all you like, but at the end of the day, it's yeah. how you brought up. Brilliant. Wow! Whoa. Wow! Life. Wow! That was a hell of a point. Oh God! But am I right? Uh, you're always right, Carl. <laughs>